Hey guys, what's going on? Today we got a quick news update from the data download that occurred on the mobile side of the building. Now, I know I haven't done a mobile video in a while. There's a lot of the news was on the JP side. So um, I wanted to make sure I went over all the brand new news that just came out. Now I have a whole bunch to talk about. As you see in the background, the banner for the new Super Vegito banner has come out. Um, I'm super hyped about this. I don't think I'm going to do any summons. There are some stale stones. I did not take advantage of the Super Saiyan 3 Broly stale stones at all. I did, however, do an off-screen multi-summon, and I finally got Masked Saiyan Bardock. I actually pulled two in one multi-summon, and I got another, um, I think I got a Shugeshi. I got Su a Shugesh SSR. So I got a bottom right dupath unlocked. I think I actually have all four dupaths unlocked on Shugesh now. Anyway, um, in terms of this, this is the new banner that's out. We're not going to do a full review in this video. We're just going to go ahead and talk about all the information that's available right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. If you want to see all information in terms of like banner reviews, card reviews, team building, stuff like that. I do that all the time. Anyway, so PSA, the, su the Strength Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma, and Int Beerus are now available in the Super Vegeta banner, which means they're probably going to be available on all future banners. They aren't Dokkan Festival, uh, Dokkan Festival exclusives, so they kind of make sense. Not every special banner that's unique to Global happen to be available in every banner afterwards, like specifically the Super Kaioken, Goku, and the Paikohan, that banner, that wasn't available. And sometimes we get like the Dragon Ball Heroes on the JP side, and then the Fusions banner, which is available on both sides. Uh, those are not always available. But it's good to know that the Vegeta and the Intelligence Beerus are available, so anyone who did not pull them when their banner was out has a chance to actually pull them now, which is awesome. Um, next is going to be, unless you have six fierce battle of units of each type, you will be unable to use LR Vegito Blue, um, or actually you get, get him. New Supreme Kai trial missions require you to have six of each type, which gives you Patara medals that add up exactly to 70 medals. So it looks like you're going to require six fierce battle units. <laughs> um, it actually looks like we do have a Reddit post over here that tells you, I'll post this in my, um, in the, in the actual either in the comments I'll probably pin a comment with the information or in the description box so that way it, p it pins this post so that way you know which ones you can use for the event if you're trying to go ahead and get those uh, units for the Vegito the new Vegito blue so uh, that looks like it's gonna be a pain well, not really a pain in the butt but if you don't have a lot of units in the game if you're a newer player you're gonna have to go the free-to-play route if you're gonna want to get that LR anyway um, LR Vegito blue passive is confirmed to be 80% attack and defense um, so that looks freaking awesome man that, that's such nice card art man <laughs> uh, greatly raises attack for one turn and mega colossal damage. Look at that. 80 attack and defense plus 80% and raised key by up to 10 for H for the less HP, the greater the key boost. Um, okay, I don't know exactly how that works. I know it works by the lower your health. It means you get more key uh, up to 10, but I don't know the actual percentages. So I'll, when I do a, uh, an actual full card review and team building guide with him, I'll make sure to cover that as long as I have that information available. Um, it looks like new Supreme Kai trial uh, requirements are in, so you can go into the game and take a look at this. I'm not going to go over each individual one. Maybe I'll do like a, a playthrough video with you guys, like a 25-30 minute playthrough video of me just grinding out and talking about it. But uh, that might come this week. If not, I do have other videos coming. Today was actually supposed to be my um, summoning video I did on the LR Goku and Vegeta banner. Um, so I only did it on the physical one. I only did four multi-summons. Uh, I don't know if I want to do more because I think those I have so many of those units on the banner. Um, uh, from both banners, actually, so I, it's kind of not worth it to me, but uh, we'll see. I'll definitely be posting that a video tomorrow. The uh, next one is the Lunar Year New Year celebration. That we're not going to go over everything in depth, but we have a new celebration. Make sure you log in to get your first initial rewards. You get a lot of cool stuff, especially that Hercule Platinum statue, uh, which you can sell for I think it was like 2.5 million zenny or something like that. It's freaking phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> you get special mission rewards, stone discounts, which are available again. Um, I wish I took advantage of the Super Saiyan 3 Broly one because now there's more and I would like to get some more, but honestly, I've been on monetary budget, so I will not be purchasing that much. I might get, like, enough for two multi-summons on the banner. Uh, Dokkan Festival Super Vegito is available. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is also featured, the physical one. New stage for the Super Vegito event. Um, Super Battle Road release. So uh, that's awesome. LR Gohan will likely come out soon. That's the new LR Kid Gohan, which he is available in-game. In so we do, well, not, not exactly as of right now, but he will be when Super Battle Road comes out. I can't wait for this. This is going to be a lot of fun for me. I've been waiting for this to, to actually get something new in game that's going to keep me interested in playing. Because honestly, I've been playing a lot more Bleach Brave Souls than I have Dokkan Battle. Uh, Supreme Kai Mission. Uh, we already talked about those. New banners. Three banners incoming the following weeks. Majin Buu category, which is going to be kind of meh. I don't like the Majin Buu category team too much. 
but that doesn't mean that it isn't good. There's so many hard-hitting units there. Uh, I just think that there you could use better, you could find better units or better team to build. I'm not saying it's bad, but the physical Super Vegito is such a staple unit in this game as of right now. Tournament of Power Summon, which is going to be awesome, and the Rising Dragon Carnival. Uh, looks like we're getting the Rage, Goku, and Agility Vegeta Rebirths. I might actually pull on that just because I still don't have that damn uh, physical Goku, and I'm pretty sure he's on that banner. <laughs> uh, and the, the Agility Vegeta Rebirth actually is really good. He becomes a really solid unit when he gets to that Rebirth. Uh, LR Go Trunks <laughs> will be available on this summon. So the new uh, Mighty Mass that goes into Goten and Trunks uh, is going to be available on this banner. So that's going to be awesome if you guys are looking for that unit. I mean, don't go hunting for it, please. But uh, you guys might get lucky. I might just pull on it because it's double rate and there's a couple units I want in there that I don't have. Uh, missions to obtain Nimbus medals are back for time attack missions. Future Trunks event. Future Trunks event returns. Hopefully Intelligence Trunks will awaken this time around. It does look like he is. I did look at dbc.space, so it does look like he's finally getting his new Doken Awakening, his second Doken Awakening. Tournament of Power event is getting released. Uh, more farmable units, including the Ultra Instinct Goku and, fit, and the uh, Strength Angel Frieza. So make sure you grind those out. You're going to need those for... Well, UI Goku is already available, but the Angel Frieza Doken Awakens, I believe, into the Frieza that you utilize uh, that's coming out for the Revival Leader. Uh, and you also get triple uh, XP Baba Shop discounts, which is phenomenal. So that's the New Year lo login celebration, which is awesome. I'm really hyped about that. This is everything I kind of just talked about. We're getting our Grand Elder Kai, so that's going to be great. Helps you save on your regular Elder Kai's. The LR Kid Gohan we already talked about. Uh, we are getting the Topo and the Bergamo. Urine's coming here with Majin Buu. Android 17, man, let me tell you, I saw the most recent episode of Dragon Ball Super. I can't believe this guy. Uh, I mean, obviously it's for plot, but uh, I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to talk about spoilers right now. I know it's been a few days since it's come out, but man, I was there, there's just, oh, I'm very upset. Anyway, Frieza, Final Form Angel from Hell. I'd get him up to Super Attack 10, Doken Awaken him, and then maybe feed four Dupes into him because why not? But remember that this guy, when he Doken Awakens, he will Doken Awaken into this guy, Golden Frieza Angel, and you're going to want to get him for the Revival uh, Frieza if you end up pulling him. Uh, then we have the two SRs, the Goku Desired Battle, which Doken Awakens, that's from here, like the Doken Awakens into the Gold, Goku Ultra Instinct, I was about to call him Gultra Instinct. Uh, maybe that's what we'll call him, Gultra Instinct Goku. <laughs> Gultra Instinct, whatever, you don't need to. Um, <laughs> uh, that's what you'll feed into UI Goku if you want to increase his super attack without using Elder Kai's. This is the Vegeta that I was talking about. Supreme Damon raises attack for 9 turns, which is just broken and ridiculous. Um, the reason why I said he's he becomes a really good unit is because of his passive skill. Agility, Strength, and Physical Type, Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 25%, and Weakens and Regeneration. With a Supreme Cat Damage modifier and raising his own attack. Uh, I don't like, I mean, 9 turns is ridiculously broken. Um, because, like, your, your battles usually don't go over 9 turns. The thing is, he's not a hard-hitting unit, so he's a support unit. Um, I don't understand why they just didn't give him all types, because limiting to 3 doesn't really make sense to me. But whatever, he does become a really solid support unit, so he does become actually viable and useful in-game. This is the Trunks that we were talking about that finally gets his new Doken Awakening. Uh, you're going to use the Trunks Metal to Doken Awaken him from the event, that's why he gets Fierce Battle. So that's going to be awesome. He becomes a solid unit, and he becomes really good for team building because he's a very good unit for team building. This is the Rage Goku. This is the one that we were talking about, the strength one. Um, he's the one who gets his new Doken Awakening, and I do have him, Super Attack 10. Uh, his attack now gets plus 90%, and he survived knockout attacks when HP is 20% or above. So that was really good for the Freeze event. I think there's, I know that there is one more, and I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Um, that makes that that is this is useful against where they do a final blast, and if you have him there, they won't kill you. So. Uh, let's see, Mighty Mask, that Doken, well, Mighty Mask SSR, which you can farm with the, the Technique one from the Strike event. Get him up to Super Attack 10 if you pull him, and then you can get him all the way up to the Kid Go 10 and Trunks, which is a really good unit. I did a full team building guide on the JP side. I'll do a new one um, at some point. And we have the Frieza and the Goku, their actual Dokkan variants that we talked about. Uh, Supreme Damage raises attack for three turns. Attack and defense plus 40%. Key plus 4. Attack plus 40% when facing two or more enemies. So the last part of this is a throwaway because you're almost never going to have that. But attack and defense plus 40% isn't horrible for a free-to-play unit. And the same thing with this Goku. Uh, he is a Universe Survival Saga category leader. Uh, not really a great one, but if you don't have one, you want to run that kind of a team, you can. But he is decent for free-to-play. Attack plus 80%. And then he gives anyone who's a Universe Survival Saga category key plus 3. So he is a key buff for himself. So if you're starting off with, like... Um, him as a leader and another one, that's that's seven, eight key that you're going to be starting off with. 
with him on the field. So you're, that, that's really awesome. Really, really worth it, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, outside of that, uh, he's not a bad unit. Uh, there, The other one is obviously better, but if you don't have anyone else, it looks like... Uh, actually, no, none of this information is actually available yet. So that's everything that we have coming out available. Again, I'll be doing a full in-depth review of all those uh, when you know when they actually get released and throughout the week because I'm not doing everything in one video. I'm trying to keep this under 15 minutes. Uh, Lunar New Year Celebration, we already talked about. This is a, this is a snapshot of it. Physical Vegito Manor is the same as the JP side. Uh, this is just information about Super Battle Road, uh, the Vegito, and the Super Vegito. So that's awesome. We already talked about all that. Uh, Super Vegito and Battle Road are announced. Yeah, not, all this is pretty much the same information. Oh, notice, uh, this isn't about this most recent download. Uh, this happened over the weekend, and I did notice it, and I took full advantage, and I grabbed everything. The Go Forth Hero of jo Justice, the whole event has been reset. Make sure you go ahead and grind that out. Um, if you already beat it, because now you can get the stones again, and that's actually how I did my multi-summon on the Super Saiyan 3 Broly event, um, on the Super Saiyan 3 Broly banner, by going into this and doing this uh, summon from getting all these additional stones. I also got the Gohans and all that kind of stuff, don't really need them, but whatever, I got those Gohans, and I got all the other cool stuff, including some of the, all the Awakening medals. So, uh, if you guys are looking for some stones, make sure you go and grind that, 21 stones total. But uh, that's everything, guys. I will be doing team building guides of all the information that we have over here. Um, I will definitely be doing Battle Road. I'm going to try and go for this Gohan. I um, kind of want to get that Super Saiyan 3 Broly now, especially because I pulled that Mass Saiyan Bardock the other night. Really kind of want to get him because now I have a really OP team. Uh, outside of that, um, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about all this. What are you guys going to be gunning for? Uh, I kind of want the 17 now just because I saw this last episode. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think about the last episode. I just, oh my gosh. Uh, attack and defense plus 50% plus an additional 12% for tech key orb obtained. So he's going to be really good as long as you have a good, uh, you know, key orb manipulator on your, on your team. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it, guys. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and stay tuned for future videos that I'll be releasing about all this new information. Thank you and you have a great day. Peace.